What's up, Cancer? How y'all doing? We are going to take a closer look at your situation for the month of March 2021. Okay, so this is going to be basically an extended reading. We're going to dig a little bit deeper into the situation that you're dealing with. Okay, so if you would like to schedule a personal reading with me, please look in the description box of the video for all the information. Uh, everything is down there. Okay. Now, I know I say that at the beginning of every video, and I do that because uh, there's always somebody that, that reaches out, like on Facebook or Instagram, asking for, you know, a personal reading, and I'm not the one that handles it, okay? I'm not the one that does all the scheduling. That would be the lovely Leah who does that, so all the information is down there, okay? Anyway, let's get right into this. What other important messages do we have for Cancer Universe? Let's dig into this situation deeper. Cancer, March 2021. Let's get an extended message for Cancer Universe for March 2021. Mm, I just saw the King of Cups down there. Let's see. I think there's a lot of emotion involved in this situation. And, and I mean, with all due respect, you're a Cancer. Of course there is, you know? <laughs> Let's get two shuffles here. Two more. of cups okay the overall energy is the ace of cups okay some of you could be dealing with a libra um so i really think that you're ready for something new i think something new is coming in um and see the way people are perceiving you from the outside in okay just the just what people see when they look at you uh they they do feel like that uh, it's very very it's not a secret that you're walking away from this okay that you're walking away you're pretty much done uh, you're not playing that game again Okay, you're, you're walking away and it's over. It's like pretty much over for good. And I think you're being pretty transparent. I don't really think you're hiding anything because on the inside, again, could be a Libra that you're dealing with, but uh, the justice card, you're making a head over heart decision. May not be the decision that you want to make, but this is a decision based on logic and reason and fairness, not on emotional bias. And again, for a water sign, that is super, super huge. Okay, that is very, very huge. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, man. Man, you're, you're, working, you're working really, really hard uh, to bring some success into your life. Okay? Um, a little bit closed off, though, emotionally. A little closed off. The person that you're dealing with here, you, it could be a Taurus, possibly, but you're dealing with somebody who's a straight-up commitment foe. Okay? Um, they're afraid of commitment. Uh, you know, like, and we hear this a lot. We hear that phrase. But it's like, okay, well, I can sit and fantasize when I'm by myself. I can fantasize about uh, that perfect connection, like especially if this was a romantic connection that you're dealing with for some of you. This is general, okay? Um, I want that perfect relationship, that committed, you know, stable, faithful relationship. But then when I'm put in that position, I get cold feet. I get nervous. I get a little bit afraid when things become calm and, and cool, you know? It's almost like this person is used to drama, okay? Tower in the reverse. So yeah, this, again, you're making a head over heart decision right here. This did not end the way you wanted it to. I really don't think that, uh, you probably didn't even want it to end, really. For some of you, this was an on and off thing. And I know that's not everybody, but uh, for those of you who this was on and off, you're done playing that game. You're done going on and off. Uh, you you kind of feel guilty too a little bit, don't you? You do kind of feel guilty. There's a part of you that does feel like it was your fault. Okay, and the person you're dealing with, man, dude. Could be a Capricorn, possibly, but King of Cups, I'm, I told you I saw the King of Cups. I, I had a feeling it was going to come out. King of Cups, Six of Cups reversed. They're holding a grudge. They're still pissed off at you. Like, basically, they're blaming you. They're mad at, like, the way it went down, I don't really think it ended the way either of you wanted it to end, but they're blaming you, but at the same time, they're still in love with you, you know? So that right there, like I said, this person uh, is probably the type of person that attracts a lot of, a, a lot of drama into their life. You know, probably they, you know, and, and I just don't really think you want that anymore. Again, I see here that you're still, you're walking away from this, still kind of holding on to it just a little bit. But I mean, you, you are making the decision that you know is fair. Okay. But you had this inner battle going on. You don't know if you made the right decision. You don't know if it was your fault. Are you guilty? Should have, could have, would have, should have done this better. Shouldn't have done that. Should have done this, you know. Uh, but either way, though, I still see you walking away. You know that. 
that it just wasn't a healthy connection that the two of you had. It wasn't a healthy connection. But you're working really hard towards success. And it looks like with that 10 of Pentacles, 8 of Pentacles, some of you could be working on like maybe starting a new business or something like that. Whatever it is, though, I see you have a lot of energy supporting, supporting your success. See, dude, I'm going to tell you right now. I've never, ever, ever, ever seen somebody become successful. Now, I'm not talking about people who are born into success. I've never seen somebody become successful without facing challenges and without facing a test from the universe. Okay. And I do think a lot of you did face a test and you passed the test. Okay. You did what you know needed. You did what you know needed to be done, whether you wanted to do it or not. Okay. Let's look a little bit more at this person you're dealing with. I'm mainly looking here at how they feel about you and how they view you. Okay, that's what I'm mainly looking at here. How they feel about you, how they view you, actions they're going to take, if any. Okay, but mainly how they feel about you. Two more shuffles here, two more. Okay, yep, see? They're blaming you. They feel like you abandoned them, that you betrayed them. There's a big victim mentality coming from this person here. It could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Yeah, boy, they're still pissed off at you. I also have Sagittarius and Leo. Could be anybody. You all know this. But everybody always says that they want to hear me call the signs that I see. So Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Leo. But, uh, but they're, not, they're not coming forward. I, I don't think that uh, they're going to come forward and try to reconcile. Um, this person is so conflicted, dude. Like I said, they're angry at you. They're blaming you. Tell me how much sense this makes, okay? They're angry at you. They're blaming you. It's all your fault. But they love you and they miss you and they feel like they sabotaged the relationship. That, sound, that feels, and again, I said this earlier on, a, on, a, on an earlier reading today, and I don't say this very often, but this feels narcissistic. This feels, and I don't, again, I don't say that very often. I'm not a big fan of using that, that term because it's been so weaponized. You know, uh, it's like everybody's a narcissist, you know, and you see a lot of people who claim that somebody's a narcissist when they're not, they're just an asshole. Okay. There's a very big difference between an asshole and a narcissist. Okay. But anyway, this feels very narcissistic in nature to me right here. Okay. This person's very, very imbalanced, very, very conflicted on the inside, but yeah, they're, they miss you. They love you, but they're mad at you and they blame you and but they feel like they're the ones that sabotaged it at the same time. Man, whatever, dude. <laughs> whatever, dude. That's, oh, it's, you're doing the right thing by walking away. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I'd walk away if I was you too, man. I mean, to be honest with you, I've been in situations like that with that, that really, really convoluted emotional manipulation, you know? I, uh, I get it. Now, we are going to look at the most likely outcome here. Uh, those of you who have been following me for a while know that I normally don't read outcomes. I normally give advice. But I think as I'm recalibrating my readings now that Mercury has gone direct, uh, I am looking at both. It would be fair to look at both, you know. So let's look at the outcome right now with the timelines that you're on. The outcome right now, according to the timelines you're currently on, if you don't make any changes to your energy. Okay. All right. Well, there's the emperor energy. Okay. It could be an Aries you're dealing with. One. Two more shuffles here. Two more. Two. And three. Okay. Ooh, the Queen of Cups. Okay. King of Wands, Six of Pentacles. It looks, I think you have something new coming in here. Yep. You're healing from this. You're healing from this. I think a lot of you, for the most part, are kind of going to take a break. Going to take a bit of a break. I know that typically that's the Four of Swords that, uh, that, that, that straight up reads that right there. But this right here, the whole spread right here with the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Cups reversed, and the Three of Swords reversed, I feel like you're, you're kind of going to take a break, okay, and allow yourself to heal. Cancer, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. This is These are very smart moves you're making, okay? Again, those of you who are new to my channel, ask anybody who's been following me for a while. Uh, I will not just tell you what you want to hear. 
okay? If I had a dollar for every person I have pissed off since I've been a YouTube tarot card reader, I could retire right now, okay? So if I say that, trust me, that's what I see and that's what I feel here. I'm very, very impressed, Cancer, very impressive. These are very intelligent moves you're making as far as your, your emotional well-being and how to handle the situation and how to move forward and actually bring something in very successful, okay? Uh, but I do think you have something new coming in. You have something new coming in, and uh, it looks pretty solid to me. It looks pretty solid. Whatever energy is headed your way looks like it, there's a much higher chance for success, but it's not, trust, it's not something that's just going to happen to you, okay? Success isn't just going to knock on your door. You have to work towards it. You have to get on that frequency, and I think that you're doing that. You're doing that. I see you putting forth the work and the effort, <clears throat> and it's definitely paying off. Definitely paying off, Cancer. Man, that's good. Good. I'm impressed with my Cancerians, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be 100% candid with you. As an Aquarius, you all typically frustrate me the most. And I think I frustrate you all the most too, right? We Aquarians, Aquarius and Cancer tend to really frustrate each other, you know, big time. But uh, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. Very impressed with my Cancers, man. Y'all are making some smart moves. Very smart moves. All right, now let's look at the advice. Let's look at the advice, okay? What advice do we have for cancer? It doesn't really look like you need very much advice right now, to be honest with you. Let's see here. Advice, advice, but boom Okay, the king wands. All right, three shuffles. One, two, and three. Okay, the two of wands, king of swords reversed, ten of swords reversed, of course, next to the devil card. Okay, so it's very important that we work on healing. You all have heard me talk about this a lot. I just got done telling uh, Jim and I the same thing. I will say this until my face turns blue and the cows come home, okay? Your number one priority is healing. I don't think you need that advice. I think you're already doing that. But just in case you're wondering, your number one priority is healing, okay? Um, but right now... Don't engage in any childish, dramatic games, okay? Especially with anything new coming in. See, I break this whole process down in personal readings from like pretty much A to Z, and I don't really have time to do that in this video, but I will say this. When you step onto the frequency of true love, when you get into that energy that attracts true love in, very frequently, you find yourself going through a period of turning love down. And that is a totally normal part of the process, okay? Once you become fulfilled in here, your desire to find somebody who can fulfill you becomes, it drops on the priority list. Let's just put it that way, okay? Because, well, first of all, it doesn't even work that way. You know, a person can't bring love to you. It doesn't work that way. As much as we, we think it does, you know, we want it to work that way and we try to make it work that way. We learn that it doesn't work that way. A person cannot bring love to you, okay? So once we begin to step into that frequency and become fulfilled from the inside, well, first of all, you become attractive. You become very energetically attractive. And your bullshit meter is, dude, it's rocking. You can smell a failed connection from a mile away, okay? A person could just walk up to you and talk to you. And you can tell, okay, oh, yeah, I see you kind of into me. I can already feel it. No, I just, I already feel, man, I, I'm just I'm not vibing with you, man. And, and, and the mistake that we make whenever we're, we're in that unfulfilled state is, well, I'm not vibing with this person, but man, what if? I just need a relationship really bad. Maybe I can make it work. When your gut's screaming at you, get the hell away from this person, you know? Again, you very well may go through a period where you turn love down for a little bit. You turn a few people down. Don't engage in any childish games. Definitely don't engage in any third party situations. This is a big one. How many of you have been in that situation? I know I have, where you meet somebody, they're in a relationship, and oh, poor pitiful me in the relationship I'm in. The person I'm with is so crazy and such an asshole or a bitch or whatever you want to call it. And oh, poor me, I need somebody to save me. You know, and here I come to save the day. So you get involved in a third party situation. They start cheating on them with you and you think you're something special. 
right? Right? And the next thing you know, they do the same damn thing to you. Because <laughs> it wasn't the person they were with. The simple fact that they didn't have the decency to end the relationship first tells you everything you need to know about them, doesn't it? Okay, so don't get involved in any childish games. Don't get involved in any uh, third-party situations. Ooh, and I just accidentally knocked the Seven of Swords reversed off of this deck right here. I feel like this is a message for you, too. Whenever we meet somebody new, a lot of times we have a tendency to want to put our best foot forward. And that's fine, but don't be afraid to lay it all out on the table. No bullshit. This is who I am. Look. Hey, we getting to know each other? We're going to cut straight through the bullshit right now. This is who I am. This is what I'm about. This is what, these are my beliefs. These are my hopes, dreams, and goals for the future. This is what I want. Um, take it or leave it. You know? Just lay it all out. Be honest with, this is where I came from. This is my past. This is what I've been through. Lay it all out on the table for anybody new. And if it's too much for them, okay. All right, cool. Well, at least we got that sorted out quickly. You know what I mean? So, anyway, though, I feel like that was your message. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. I greatly appreciate every last one of you who tune in on a daily basis and show love and support. It means more to me than I'll ever be able to express in words. Don't forget to look in the description box of the video for information on how to schedule personal readings. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in and showing love, man. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all have a good day.